Was there a little extra excitement as you prepared for not only a top 20 clash, but also a local rivalry? Yeah, I think, I think this game has, has turned into a good rivalry. Um, you know, they're a great program and, you know, they're, they're so close. So it, it certainly adds to the excitement and both teams are having a good season. So I, I think our guys were really fired, fired up and, you know, play with a lot of energy tonight. And with that great start to the season and the rise up in the national polls, how do you get the team to put this first loss of the season in perspective? I think we're all just disappointed. I, I, you know, the first thing I want to say, I want to give Harvard a lot of credit. I thought they had a great game plan. I thought they, um, you know, outplayed us. Um, I thought they were more physical on, on ground balls and they rode us really well. I thought they had a great game plan and, um, you know, all credit, credit needs to certainly go to them. But at the end of the day, I, I think we can play better. Um, we, we weren't great in our clears, which has been something that we've been really good at all year. Um, you know, we continue to turn the ball over it at a little higher rate than we want to. Um, and, it, and it just seemed like we couldn't make a play. You know, we would tie it or we'd cut it to one and we just weren't able to, you know, get over the hump for, per se. Um, you know, Harvard's a good team and it was a great game. And, you know, we certainly showed we were capable of, of playing at that level at times. But, you know, when you play a really good team, you have to limit your mistakes. And, you know, I think we just had too many mistakes tonight. Right. So you mentioned as uh, the team had many turnovers today and trouble with face-offs as well. How are you going to take what occurred in today's game and translate that into the rest of your season? Yeah, I'm, you know, we'll just have to continue to, to work on our, our wing play. Um, you know, I thought for the most part, Connor won most of the clamps um, and we had possession to start with, but, you know, Carver did a great job. There are a lot of 50, 50 balls that, um, you know, they came away with. And, and I thought that was really the difference in the game, to be honest, that in our turnovers was, you know, they just had possession more than we did. Um, you know, I thought both defense were doing a great job. I thought both offenses were doing, doing a, a solid job as well. At the end of the day, they, they just had more possessions in the second half, whether it was from winning a face off for us, failing to clear or turn the ball on over, or, or turn the ball over on, on offense. And what do you think you and the team needs to do to keep locked and focused for Lafayette on Saturday so you can keep your first place position in the Patriot League? Yeah, we'll have to bounce back quickly. Um, you know, certainly tonight was a hard game, very physical. Um, I thought both teams played extremely hard. So, you know, we'll have to just, you know, balance getting ready for Lafayette and practicing and, and certainly recovering from, um, you know, the, the tough game from, from tonight. Thank you so much. That's all I have for you. You're welcome. I just wanted to ask you real quick about Garber. You know, another great game, I thought, for him. A lot of point-blank saves and, you know, how important mm – -hmm. Has he continued to be for your team? Yeah, Matt was was great again. Um, you know, made made a lot of big saves for us. You know, kind of kept us in the game, and um, you know, he continues to to play at, at such a high level. So, you know, he, he was um, you know was important for us as as you know we turned the ball over, gave them extra possessions. You know, to continue to get stop after stop, and you know, with their their man up unit, you, you know, to hold those guys at bay. Um, you know, it was. Uh, you know, we played a lot of defense tonight for sure.